Hi there, this is Jeff Burbrink with the Purdue Extension Office in Elkhart County, Indiana. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about some insects I found living on my tulip tree. Uh, they're called scale insects. And in the month of May, early May, uh, you may see the remnants of some scales that were feeding on the tree the previous year up here in northern Indiana. They're not really active just yet, but you'll see the remnants of them. Uh, if you've ever parked your car underneath a tulip tree, usually in July, August, and September, you might see some sticky sap dripping down on top of your car, and that's uh, why these scale insects are what causes that particular issue. They, they have a piercing, sucking type mouth part that takes in some of the sap from the tree, and they take in too much, and they pass that through their body, and then that sap drips down on top of your car. So let's take a look at these scale insects and see what they look like this time of the year. I removed this branch from the tree to get, get a better angle on it, but these are the scales. Those little brown bumps that you're seeing there are the scale insects. And as far as scale insects are concerned, these are pretty good sized scale insects, the ones that feed on tulips. Uh, they are uh, probably about half an inch across in some regards. Uh, now these are these are dead. Uh, they, f they fed quite a bit last year and then the females in this group will have eggs inside of them. Uh, the eggs will hatch out later on this summer and start feeding on the plant again. Now the interesting thing about scale insects is when they feed they stay in one spot for pretty much the rest of their life once they start feeding. So they will mate and then go uh, feed and the females will go on to produce some eggs. These, these eggs in this particular case overwinter inside the bodies of the mother. So now as you can see they're pretty crunchy right now. I'm, I'm wiggling some of these things off and they're just falling off pretty easily. They're, they're not alive now but inside those will be some eggs that will produce next this year's crop of, of scales on the plant. Uh, you'll also notice that my hand is turning real black and the stick itself is covered with some black ooze on it. And once again, that is due to the uh, pooping that these little critters do as they feed and they pass that syrupy sap through their bodies it drips down upon the car below or on the sticks below it's got a lot of sugar in it that sugar uh, is attractive to a fungus it's called sooty mold and this is so this black stuff on here is actually a mold that's growing on the surface of the thing as you can see as i rub my fingers on there uh, it even gets shiny it's got still got a lot of that sap in there it's getting all sticky all over my hands and creates quite a mess. So what do we do about these scales on tulip trees? Well, uh, a lot of times people will think, first of all, if they're familiar with fruit trees and how we control scales on fruit trees, we try to put an oil spray on. However, these scales are already dead. They're not going to be affected by an oil scale. So it's not going to help us with, uh, with the oil spray. Uh, pretty much we have to wait until uh, when the crawler stage comes out. So the eggs will hatch, they'll be begin to crawl around, and at that point we can uh, get these uh, critters under control. Uh, typically the eggs will hatch sometime in about uh, July to August in our area, so that's when we'll be looking at doing the treatments. There's a number of different products that are out there that you can spray on a tree. Uh, you, there's also some products that you can uh, put around the base of the tree as a homeowner or there's even some in, some types of insecticides that the professionals can inject into a tree if it needs to be done. Tulip tree scale is not one that really is known to kill the trees unless you have a, a really bad drought or something like that and the tree is already under some stress. That's really about the only reason that you would do that. Or if it happens to be a tree that's, say, hanging right out where you love to park your car and you don't want to get that crazy sap all over your car every time you park there. 
So that would be about the only reason to treat it on a routine basis. Uh, this particular tree happens to be in my lawn and it happens to be a place where my kids like to park their cars and they're going to get some sap on their cars because I'm not going to bother to treat it this year. So if you have some other questions about scale insects, because there's all different kinds and all, they get on all different kinds of plants, feel free to give me a call here at the Purdue Extension Office in Elkhart County. Uh, the phone number is 574-533-0554, or you can reach me at my email address, which is jburbrink at purdue.edu. Have a great day.